If you misjudge it and the wheel hits the raised edge, it flips the trailer. Now, for a goods trailer, all I do is scare the daylights out of car drivers because they think they're going to squash somebody, me mainly. <laughs> but if you had kids in it, it would be quite dangerous. I've spilt all the, all the shopping and everything out onto the road. The purpose behind this video is to show how refuges in the middle of busy roads don't work for cyclists towing trailers. Canada Bay Council is proposing to install a total of seven refuges along the east-west regional cycleway between Concord and the Bay. After watching this video, you have to wonder how parents with their children in a, in a trailer are supposed to get across Lions Road West safely, or someone who has done their shopping in Five Dock using a trailer is supposed to get home going east or west along the cycleway. Because the regional cycleway isn't just for confident, fast-moving adult males on road bikes who want to commute to work in the CBD. It's there for parents to get their kids to the new playground in Five Dock Park, or for kids to get to school at Five Dock Public, or either of the two schools in Concord, or for families in Five Dock or Concord to get to Timbrell Park or St Luke's Oval for sport. High quality, safe crossings should even allow elderly residents who live north of Lions Road West to walk across to the Canada Bay Club for dinner. So let's watch Brian as he tries to get his trailer through a refuge on the Cooks River pathway. Now, just remember this is a different design to what the East-West Regional Cycleway is getting. These ones we're looking at today are chicanes, whilst the new cycleway is getting straight through refuges. However, no refuge is going to be wide enough, or long enough, or whatever you want to call it, to accommodate a bike with a trailer, or possibly cargo bikes. Let's have a quick run through the seven proposed refuges. We have in no particular order, Barnstaple Road at the corner of Five Dock Park. Harris Street in Five Dock, on the route to Five Dock Public in Henry Street. At the bottom of Heath Street, we cross Henley, Henley Marine Drive to get kids to soccer at Timbrell Park. Coming out of Howley Street and having to cross Ingham Avenue to get into Five Dock Park, a route for school kids going to, say, Dom Rainey College. Lions Road West, a particular shocker as there, are sweeping, there is a sweeping bend to your left with heavy, fast-moving traffic. This is, of course, the route to St. Luke's Park for netball, or again to one of the two Concord Public Schools. From Stanley Street, where you have to cross Broughton Street to get into Queen Elizabeth Park. Now, this is another road with heavy, fast-moving traffic, and this is on the other side of the two Concord Public Schools, so it's a route from, the up, from that way, from the west. It's also a way for residents in places like Stanley Street to get to the Majors Bay shopping area. Lastly, we have possibly the worst and which is the roundabout where William Street meets Lions Road West. Again, this is a route for kids living north of Ryan, Lions Road West to get to Five Dock Public, or for kids in Five Dock to get to Concord High School. The traffic coming down the hill from the east is almost always heavy and fast moving, or particularly in the mornings, you know, around school rush hour, and the roundabout adds an extra complication. Imagine trying to get kids across this in a trailer in order to ride around the path on Hen and Chicken Bay or to take a trailer load of shopping home from Coles and Five Dock. It's pretty much impossible. Let's see what else Brian had to say. So I've just been riding on the Cooks River and um, I noticed how difficult it was to go around uh, or through the chicane. So let's, you can see with the trailer here, uh, obviously it's a goods trailer, but that could just as easily be a kiddie trailer with oh. young kids in it. Yeah. Um, so let's just talk about the, the difficulties. Well. If you, uh, when you go through the chicane, yeah. if you misjudge it, because you can't see the wheels, even with the, the mirror, you can't see the wheels. If you misjudge it and the wheel hits the raised edge, it flips the trailer. Now, for a goods trailer, all I do is scare the daylights out of car drivers because they think they're going to squash somebody, me mainly. <laughs> but if you had kids in it, it would be quite dangerous. I've spilled all the all the shopping and everything out onto the road. So I now just go around them. I don't know that it's strictly legal, but it's just so hard to, to maneuver the trailer around. So yeah, uh, so, a raised one would be much better. Yeah, so the, the chicanes are really designed for, you know, a, a bicycle. Well, uh, I mean, a tricycle would, I guess, have the same problems a or a cargo would bike. Have, uh, probably the similar problems. I mean, there's not that many trikes down here, but I have seen them. But I've never asked them about the chicanes. They probably go around them as well. Yeah. Um, but I've never really asked. But yeah. Um, no, no. It, it, the, the trail is not particularly long or anything of that nature. Um, but 
it just it just tips straight over and I've done it on the the one that we just crossed cross through and I've done it on the next one uh, on and one time the cars had stopped for me and uh, then the trailer flipped and the car driver was about to move when he had to because he didn't think I was going to tip the trailer <laughs> yeah. So, yeah you know he wasn't pressuring me or anything like that but you don't like to upset the car drivers and then you're there for a long time so you actually slow the cars down for no reason and you just make things hard for, for everybody but yeah anyway that was my say my no. wins for the day <laughs> no, thanks very much okay. so if your idea of how bicycles are used is limited to recreational sport or adult commuting it might be time to think again council clearly wants to reduce car usage and given many car trips involve driving to the local shops or taking the kids to school or daycare, trailers or cargo bikes offer a great way for families to reduce their car usage or to even give up their cars entirely. Now I know not many families are going to want to do that, but they at least provide the opportunity to do that. However, that won't be possible unless our cycleway infrastructure safely supports bicycles or tricycles that are longer and wider than what is typically used in Sydney today. The best solution is already incorporated in the cycleway plan on drawing 31.